uh, the show moved to Sydney and a friend of mine moved in with Anthony as a, a flat, like sharing a flat with him. He had a spare room at the time. I had a hernia and I had to go into hospital and I was going to miss the Wiggles tour. And, and I said to Paddy, mate, would you fill in for me? You've know, you got to be a pirate and um, you've got to be me. I had no idea. I hadn't seen, hadn't seen the show, hadn't seen the other three guys. I hadn't met Greg or Murray or Jeff at that point. We said, oh, when we get there, we'll, we'll take you through everything. And, um, but when we got there, it was kind of pretty late. So we said, oh, tomorrow before we start, we'll give you a quick run through. So basically he had, he had no rehearsal at all. He had, he'd seen the Wiggles once. <laughs> and <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing in the suits at all. Um, it was like, yeah, just come out and wags a song and you, you do this move. This is a wags move. That's, you know, that's all you have to do through the song. And uh, Dorothy goes like this. And Captain Feather sort of does this a lot. <laughs> He came back maybe a stone lighter than he was and uh, he loved the experience and the boys said to me, we've got to keep him, he's really funny and he has been brilliant ever since. The Wiggles now had their look, their music and all their characters in place. They were the ABC's biggest selling act on music and video with a new title released every year. Rise, we're ready to wiggle. With a TV show behind them, they toured relentlessly. At one stage, performing an astounding four shows a day, six days a week. It sort of started moving within that first year I was with them from 500 people to about 800 people a show. And, and then, you know, sort of the year after that, it was to 1,000 and, and 1,200. So it really kind of, you know, it doubled in a really short period that couple of years there. In 1998, the Wiggles made the move from small clubs and theatres to arenas, thus becoming one of the country's most successful touring acts across all genres. It's an amazing thing to watch in anyone's career when something happens and you get traction. And I think that's when everybody digs in and knows, with a little bit more effort, this is going to sort of really build. When it seemed the group could not get any bigger, a licensing deal was signed to create a range of consumer products. It's the beginning of what I would say will be 50 million at retail in 1998 uh, on a global basis. The Wiggles would no longer need to sell their merchandise from Jeff's school case. Retail would soon range across musical and plush toys, books, sleepwear, toothbrushes, spaghetti, band-aids, juice, yogurt and a wide range of apparel. 